Hello and welcome, I'm Josh with US Cutter and in today's video we're going to show you how to cut heat transfer vinyl with the US Cutter MH Vinyl Cutter using the Vinyl Master software. This was one of the most requested videos on the survey that we sent out last week to our newsletter subscribers. If you're interested in being the first to hear about some of our latest sales and product releases, as well as receiving some coupons from time to time, you can sign up for the newsletter in the link down in the video description below. Let's go ahead and get started with heat transfer vinyl on the software side of things. I have several images that I've loaded into Vinyl Master. Vinyl cutters can only cut vector file format graphics, so we will need to convert our image to a cuttable vector file. The images that I'm using are .png files with a transparent background because I find it easier to work with in my opinion because it's one less color that you have to deal with. You can just drag and drop the image from whatever folder you have it saved into right into Vinyl Master if it's a .png file. I've got three different types of images for today's video. The first is a single color image with some smaller details on it. The second one is a two color design that makes me kind of miss the sunny beaches back home. The third is a three color cartoon image that you might see as a logo someplace or even on a t-shirt like we're going to do today. So to start the vectorization process we want to select our image and once we have the image selected we want to go to the upper toolbar and then click the vectorize option. This option will only appear if the image is a format that can be vectorized and you have the actual image selected. The vectorization pop-up window will appear, giving you a few options, but I'm just going to do the default settings on these for my example, but the MH is our entry-level cutter that has a stepper motor, but it can still cut some pretty detailed stuff, so you're going to want to play with the options and retrace it as many times as needed until you have something you like. If you have an image with multiple colors, you may have to add and then subtract a few colors until you find the right look. Remember, we're cutting vinyl and not printing it, so you won't be able to do things like gradients and some other advanced and like color techniques. I made a video detailing this process in finer detail if you'd like to see that. Please pause the video and then go check out the Quick Cuts video that I listed in the bubble above. Now that the image has been vectorized, it is ready to cut but we can also resize the image and not have to worry about any pixelization or distortion. At this point, you can also edit the design inside the Vinyl Master software. I'm going to remove some of the nodes on the inside of this so that I don't have any holes on the inside of this layer, and I can just put the other layer of vinyl directly on top of it. To do this, I'm going to use the Node Edit tool located right next to the Selection tool on the left-hand toolbar. By default, you can see that the nodes on the exterior of the image are already showing. But I want to access the ones that are on the center. And to do that, I just need to click the area close to that and they will then appear. I'm then going to hold down the left mouse button and drag a box all over all the nodes and then promptly delete all of them to remove the hole. Vinyl Master is a very powerful program that you can do a lot of stuff with. I will be holding a live webinar on September 30th, 2020 that you can sign up for using the link in the video description down below. If you're watching this after October 2nd, 2020, then I've already uploaded the webinar and that will be linked in the video description down below. You can also check out some of the older webinars that we did for Vinyl Master as well, but enough about that, let's move forward. So far, I vectorized my images and then edited the nodes to remove some holes I didn't want in the few layers for this image. So I think that we're ready to cut this. We now need to load the machine, make sure the blade is set correctly and that we have the proper speed and pressure settings. First, let's load the machine. With most HTV, you will have a clear plastic backer giving the HTV a shiny side and then a dull side. We're going to be cutting the dull side of the vinyl, so we need to load that into the machine with the dull side facing up. With the MH, you have the pinch rollers that can go in almost every spot inside the machine. It has a little white marker here that indicates the place to not put the pinch rollers. Do you have to use all the pinch rollers? No, but I prefer to use as many as I can to keep the stub straight down and get the best cut possible. Can you add more pinch rollers? Yes, you can. You would just take this little screw off and then slide them on here. 
You can also adjust the pressure of your pinch rollers by adjusting these screws here. Some people prefer to have less pressure on the middle pinch rollers to prevent it from causing the temporary marks left from the pressure against the grit roller bar. I just leave mine alone because those marks will go away after a while. Once you have your media loaded in, we want to run it back and forth to make sure that it has been loaded inside properly. To do this, we want to press the offline button and then use the up and down arrow keys and then we can move the vinyl back and forth to see if it skews or not and make the necessary adjustments as needed. Once straight, we can perform a test cut and then adjust our blade, pressure, and speed until we find it acceptable. I always start at the slowest speed and then go up from there. I'm gonna be cutting it with about 60 grams of pressure and then my speed set to 100. When sending stuff to the cutter, if nothing is selected in Vinyl Master, it will then send everything on the screen or that page that is ready to cut to the vinyl spooler. If you only want to cut a specific part, then select that on the screen and then send it to the cutter using the button above. The cutter button above will give you three options when selected. For this demonstration, we are going to select the second option, Send to Cutter. This will open the Send to be Cut pop-up window. I'm using the MH cutter that has a cutting width of 24 inches. It's the 721, so I have that model selected up top. If you do not install your cutter correctly when you first installed the Vinyl Master software, you can watch this Quick Cuts video I made showing you how to connect your vinyl cutter to the computer. Now, let me explain the General tab on the Send to be Cut pop-up window a little bit for you. This is the main tab that we're gonna be focused on when cutting. Up top, you have the general information about the machine and your media width, as well as the job name. You can also increase the quantity of jobs cut here as well. Below are some of my favorite check boxes. The first box is the rotate box. I use a lot of smaller sheets of vinyl when I'm cutting, so the rotate box gives me a quick way to swap the rotation. That way I can save on the amount of vinyl that I'm cutting, like say if I'm cutting a roll, or if I'm cutting a sheet, then I can just switch the direction of it without having to actually manually switch the image inside the original file. Next up is the Advance After Plot box. Do you want your machine to return to the origin point, or would you like it to move up to the next area where you could possibly do another cut, or whatever else you wanted to do next? On the next row, we have the Mirror box. You can use this if you forgot to mirror your job on the main edit screen. Just make sure that you pay attention and don't mirror it twice like somebody that you might know. Next we have the general options part of the general tab. The first box is the mixed job, draw and cut. Do you need to do some plotting on paper followed by some cutting? This is for you. I know some people that make dresses that use this feature as well as some people that run flatbed cutters that use this a lot. Me, when I'm just cutting vinyl, I don't really use that. To the right of that, you have the separate by color box. This is very important if you're going to be cutting a multicolor layer design. If you click it, you will see it open up, more options on the right side, and change the preview as well. If we deselect the separate color option, it will open up the assigned tools by color. This is something that you can use if you're cutting things that are a different thickness. Maybe you need a different blade for something. Maybe you're running a graph tech that has two blade holder positions. To the left is the registration mark box. This is a handy tool for lining up your multicolored designs, but because I'm gonna be using Caesar Easyweed heat transfer vinyl that has a clear backer, I could just line it up by sight with these. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. Yes, it does help you line it up, but if you have a color that isn't used much, it will waste a bunch of your vinyl. I was sad that I almost used up all of my matte Caesar Easy Weed. Below you have the Auto Weed Box and Auto Speed Weed Box. The Auto Weed Box will put a big box around all of the images, while the Auto Speed Weed will add smaller boxes around smaller images when possible. Below that we have our text options. Easy Lift Weed Marks will put a little J-shaped mark inside of the O's 
and the other letters with vinyl that need to be removed on the inside of them. Weld text will make sure that all of your text won't have any cut paths that cross each other and it'll chop up your letters or whatnot. This prevents that. It combines all of them into a single vector with connected cut paths. Then finally, speed weed text will put a box around each of the text. Always make sure to double check this though when you're doing your speed weeding. When objects are very close together, sometimes those boxes can go through other things by mistake and it actually won't pick up on that. Now if that's the left side, let's talk about the right side. But before we do that, let me make sure that I click the separate by color box. And when I do that, up top on the right side, you can see that we have each of the colors listed above. If I click each one, the preview updates down below as well too. Down below the preview, we have a few options. The first is area test. This will have your machine run the blade holder across the required area without applying any force. This is also to make sure that you have enough vinyl loaded into the machine and to verify that everything is loaded inside correctly. The next button is the cut now button. That will only send the job selected or the selected color to the vinyl spooler and immediately ask you if you would like to start cutting the job. The next button is the spool all button. It will send all of the available colors to the spooler so that you can select each color and cut from there. Then next to that is the cancel button, allowing you to quit this and go back to the previous screen. I personally prefer to use the cut now button when cutting so that I can look over everything again each time before I cut each color. But please use whichever method works best for you. So now let's go ahead and start the cut. Again, my pressure setting was at 60 with the speed at 100 using a 60 degree blade for cutting these. Your experience may vary depending on what type of blade and what angle you're using when cutting. So I strongly suggest that you perform a test cut until you have the correct blade depth, pressure, and settings dialed in for your machine. I personally use a 60 degree blade because they penetrate deeper and have a larger area of the blade making contact with the substrate. Guess what? I made a quick cuts video about roll and compatible blades that our machines use too. You may have noticed that I don't have my MH on a stand. I have this table with a beautiful self healing greenie mat that I put everything on. I'm feeding the roll into my MH using my app roller and I set the roll on top of it so that it can feed directly into the MH with no issue. Once everything has finished cutting, it's time to weed and press everything. And if you want my suggestion on another must have tool, it's the Caesar weeding pick. I have two of these at home, two at the office, and then when we used to travel to trade shows, I had three of them for that. Also this vinyl is Caesar Easy Weed and that's the industry standard when it comes to heat transfer vinyl. I can do a two second tack on this stuff and get things rolling to reduce shrinkage. If you are curious about Caesar heat transfer vinyls, I've done several videos on each of the different Caesar vinyls that have been coming out all throughout the year. I'll link several of them in the video description down below. Let's start with the beach shirt. I'm going to press the yellow layer down first since the blue ring overlaps it a little in the original image. After a two second tack, I can then follow it up with the other color and then we have a nice shirt. Let's follow that two second tack up with a 10 second finishing press and then we're done. Make sure you cover it with your nonstick sheet too. Next we have the single color image. This is easy. I'm just going to press the Caesar Easy Weed on 100% polyester at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for two seconds like everything else. Once done, I just peel it away and follow it up with a finishing press for 10 seconds and I'm good to go. Now onto the three color design. Warning, I'm working with limited colors, so prepare your eyes for some terrible color combinations. Did someone say leopard tan patterns with green and blue? Ooh, yeah. Seriously though, that hurts my eyes and I'm very sorry for sharing it with you. I will not show it ever again. I did a less painful version with some black Caesar strip flock as the outline with purple and blue. Remember, if you want to see more in-depth stuff about Vinyl Master, we have a Vinyl Master webinar coming up on September 30th and you can register for that in the link in the video description down below. If it's after October 2nd, 2020, then I've already uploaded that webinar and you should be able to find it in the video description down below. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. We have cut and applied Caesar heat transfer vinyl using Vinyl Master and the MH Vinyl Cutter. Make sure you subscribe to the US Cutter YouTube channel and give this video a like. When we get up to 30K subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a very big giveaway that is only gonna be for our YouTube channel subscribers. Vinyl cutters, materials, and more. So make sure you help us get to that 30K subscribers and if you have any sales related questions, you can reach our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. And every single item that we offer comes with lifetime customer support for no additional charge. And you can reach a support agent at support at uscutter.com. Well, thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this and have yourself a wonderful day. Take care now.